Tucson's Paul Sakala has our story. When adventurers think of some of the most famous Maya ruins around, what comes to mind to many includes Chichen Itza, Copan, Palenque, Uxmal, Tikal, Tulum, and of course, many others. And now a few professors from the University of Arizona School of Anthropology are perhaps putting another site on that list, thanks to a major discovery in the world of the Maya. University of Arizona professor Daniela Triadan, in white, excavates the Aguada Fenix site near Mexico's border with Guatemala in the state of Tabasco. While the School of Anthropology is one of the highest ranked anthropology departments in the nation. And along with fellow U of A professor Takeshi Inomata, the university researchers have helped discover the oldest known structure in the history of the Maya civilization. Dating as far back as 1000 BC, Professor Inomata tells me advanced technology known as LIDAR was used to make the discovery. It's an aerial remote sensing method. But nobody knew about this site. That's because it's horizontally large and it's so large that if you walk on it, it looks like a just, just like a part of a natural landscape. Because we're finally seeing these patterns of landscape modifications that are so big that you can't see with the naked eye. In total volume, the Maya site exceeds ancient Egypt's Great Pyramid of Giza. And more importantly, it gives more insight on the early years of Mesoamerican civilization after the Olmeca period. So it's, it's kind of a voluntary communal effort at a scale that's almost unimaginable. So it gives us a very new idea about how Maya civilization came to be. The findings of Professor Inomata and Professor Triadan have now been published in the popular periodical Nature. We have a link to that on KVOA.com. We've got you covered from just west of the U of A. Paul C. Kala, News 4, Tucson. Excellent story, Paul. Excellent School of Anthropology as well right there at the University of Arizona, as you mentioned. All right, it was uh, not too cool this morning.